Another job well done, Harvey. Is that who I think that is? Harvey, happy retirement. Lester and I decided to get you something for it. Come How's on, it going, bud. It's your last day. Open it up. It's tomorrow, actually, but, you know, thank you. Christmas, very timely of you. Oh, oh Harvey, you know how Lester loves a good prank. Enjoy retirement, pal. We both know that was that was off him, but congrats, Harvey. Thank you. See you around. Greetings, gentlemen. Double I'll G. see you back at the office. How's it going, boys? Harvey, Ben, what's up? Happy retirement. Well, Eric and I thought you could use a new look, so we got you a little something here. Thanks. Well, looks good on you. Well, happy retirement. See you later. Are they gone? So, what'd you get me? I didn't get anything physical, but you know, uh, tomorrow's job, um, you know, it's at that house on uh, Henderson Road. It's you know, just a routine. Uh, there's a ghost behind my refrigerator, just a piece of mold, but not so far off. But. No, I'll, I'll take care of it. You go home. End your career on a high note. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. Yeah, I was... Yeah, no, it's, it's section B where you want to make those changes. Not... No, 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 no. Mm -hmm. Something to drink? Nah, I'm not staying too long. How's your first day of retirement? It's all right. I finally found time to go grocery shopping. Ain't that swell. Well, enjoy it while it lasts. I appreciate it. Yeah, I've got a lot on my bucket list. That's great. It's good. Ben's gone quiet. What do you mean? It's been a couple of hours since he's last contacted HQ. I'm sure he's fine. Ben is absolutely more than capable of handling a job by himself. I mean, you don't look that busy. Why don't you go check on him? Do you even understand that he's not as experienced as you? And don't lecture me on how I spend my time. Now I gotta go to a board meeting later to explain the little stunt you did yesterday. It was a ghoul, Joe. It was a highly dangerous threat that had to be handled properly. Regardless of that, I'm retired. I have no obligation to the firm. Well, technically you do. And you're still on my payroll for the day. So why don't you get your ass to work? You don't understand. Are you not hearing me? This ain't up for debate. This is in order. Now go help your friend.
Finally awake. Oh. Oh. Hey, 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 hey. Oh. Careful, careful. Oh. You hit your head pretty bad there when you fell. Oh. Where am I? Uh, we're at Parker's house. The office sprinklers went off, so we're stuck down here for a while. I told you for the millionth time, Ben was not there. No, no, Harvey was there. Yeah, we checked. Hey, no, no, Ben, ben was there. only you, Harvey. Ben wasn't there when we got to the scene. Thank goodness the director had us show up when we did. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> okay. Thanks, Joe. No, no, you can hang up if you want. Alright, fine. <sighs> so that was the director. And he wants to know where Ben is. Last I saw him, he's bleeding out at that house you found me at. Oh, yeah. And we also want you to explain what this is. I was gonna ask you two the same question. According to the archives in my notes here, there have been many reports of spirit crystals, ghost rocks, or whatever you have it, but never anything dangerous. And we don't even know what it is, what it does, or who it's for. When you touched it, did you experience anything out of the ordinary? You're not going to believe me if I tell you. Harvey, come on. We work with ghosts, ghouls, and goblins for a living. Do you really think anything is going to sound crazy to us anymore? It... I think I was in another dimension. It... It was unlike anything I've ever seen before. It was... It was dark. It was... It was like this one, but just... Lifeless. I suspected that. There was a report a few years back about something similar. A rock being some type of doorway into another dimension. But this is different. We need more answers. Could you touch that rock again?
here. You try it. Oh, to think this little thing's giving us so much trouble. Parker. 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 Eric? Harvey? You know you have to talk to now, right? Who dares summon the great Nerevoir at this hour? Cut it, Eugene. Oh, come on, man. You know this is my thing? This is serious business. I know. That's why you called me. So what you got? Well, golly. That is interesting. What is it? I don't know, you tell me, you're the all-powerful warlock. Wizard, actually. Uh, warlock has some negative connotations attached to it, and I caught some bad press a while back, so I rebranded. And what is this, anyway? One of them positive energy crystals? Whoa. You know what this is, right? The Dark Mark. A phantom is cursed. Phantoms? That's nonsense, I haven't seen any phantoms. Sure you have. That explains the little rock here. At most, I would say you have 24 hours left to live. Okay, so what are we gonna do? <laughs> are you serious? We? We are not doing anything. I got a hot pocket waiting for me in the microwave when I get home. Then I gotta reheat thanks to you. Um, I'll bill you for the consultation. Um, I wish you the best of luck. Have a good night. This is a joke. No, I'm quite serious. So you're just gonna leave me stranded? Harvey, I don't work for your firm, okay? I, I, don't, I don't make a salary to come and consult you on the lampposts all day. I'm not your partner. I'm just loosely your friend. By the way, I gotta take you off the whole friends and family pricing for the consultations, because it's... I'm robbing myself what I'm charging. It's ridiculous. This is ridiculous! This economy is ridiculous, is what Listen, it is. Sweet Jean, I really need your help. I don't care what you're charging other people for the scams that you're running. Well, this scammer, get your hands off me, just saved your life. Okay, why don't you go bother Ben, all right? I want to go home and eat my Hot Pocket. Ben? He's dead. Well, that's unfortunate for Ben. All right, hopefully maybe one day we'll reunite with him in the metaphysical realm. But until then, the Phantom is your problem. Gene, I don't know how. Well, I guess that one year of college that I have on you does matter. You know what I'm capable of? I'm an arcane master, a third-class alchemist, 
recipient of the Merlin Award and a Master Conjurer, and you think, you think you're gonna threaten me with such primitive means. You know, on, uh, on second thought, you make a very you make a very convincing argument. Listen, I didn't even I didn't even know why I even considered yelling at you. What, 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 why don't we walk this way? Why don't we walk this way? I'd be happy to help a friend. You know, I'm always happy to help. So what about this? So clearly, you entered the Phantom's domain, and he has, as Phantoms do, cursed you. There's a simple solution to this, and what would that be? Kill the Phantom. But in order to do this, we need to release it into the physical realm. You have what it takes. Yeah, of course, but how are we gonna do that? How I deal with most of my apparitions? With an exorcism. Uh, do, do you mean exorcism? No, I don't. You said exorcism. I know what I said. <laughs> now let's get ready. to claim insurance on any of the damages. Yep. Well, let's just hope there are none. So how do we break it? Simple. Keep your guard up. Exercise 
Uh, yeah, I'll have to let you know. Good job back there, though. Let's just go home. I already am. I'll walk you to your car, though. Bye. Bye. 